I got into an argument with a younger comic. He's in his mid-20s, and I was telling him about the music that came out after 9-11. I don't know if you were old enough to live through 9-11, and you didn't forget. <laughs> Ooh, let me catch you forgetting. <laughs> But the music that came out was bonkers. For six months after 9-11, all that came out was just like hyper-aggressive country music. Which makes sense, they were getting us ready for war. But every song that came out was like, step on up and we'll kick your ass. And we were all like, ah! Toby Keith was just printing money. He made so much money, he opened a shitty restaurant chain. But, Radio stations, back when they actually were powerful, radio stations did this thing where they took, I don't know if anybody remembers this, they took Enrique Iglesias' song, Hero, and then spliced news footage from 9-11. Clap if you remember that. See? I'm not making this up. What a lot of people don't know is that Enrique Iglesias wrote the song, Hero, trying to fuck... Anna Kornikova. <laughs> so it's a sex song that they put 9-11 audio. Once you know he wrote it for that reason, go back and listen to that. You can tell how horny he is in the song. When he's like, let me be your hero, baby. It's just him being like, please touch it. Please. Please touch my penis. And then randomly, it's like, the second tower has fallen. It's <laughs> fucking wild. And I found it on YouTube. Because of this disagreement, I found it on YouTube. It's crazier than you remember. Go look it up. I'll give you a time marker. 53 seconds <laughs> into the video. It's a clear sexual lyric. Enrique Iglesias goes, would you tremble? If I touched your lips, and then you hear a woman go, I got thrown through a window, and you're like, what the fuck? What the fuck is that? And we put that out like, that's for the first responders. <laughs>